Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do just a quick review for you about the Michael Todd True Organics line. I'm a little bit late to the game of doing one of these reviews. I've had the products for quite some time. So I just wanted to do a quick review for them. This is how I decided if I was gonna buy a Michael Todd or not. I looked at a lot of reviews online. So I thought that I would just share that with you guys. So let's get started. The first product that I'm gonna show you is the Michael Todd True Organics Intensive Organic Cream Eye Treatment. It says it's for all skin types. It's just like a long little skinny guy. Um, and basically you just put it um, before applying makeup, you can use it day and night. Um, it has this little kind of applicator that looks like this. I don't know if my camera is not wanting to focus on it. But you basically just press this little thing down and the cream comes out of it like this. And then you'll dispense it on the eye here and here. Um, it doesn't really have a horrible smell but it's not awesome as I've said before in my other videos I really like products that smell good as far as whether or not I feel like it works I have had this for a long time several months and I've stopped using it I used it for a couple of weeks and I didn't feel any huge difference um, I don't remember how much it was but I just you know, I'm not really sure that I would purchase it again. I've just moved on to other things that I wanted to try. So I think it's something good to try. I like that it's organic. I like that their products have that fact about them, but I don't know if it works well for me. I have an issue with pretty sensitive eyes. I get really kind of dry patches like right in here. If I use newer products and then I let it calm down to see if it goes away, it never really went away. So I don't know that my eyes really appreciated this product very much but I know a lot of people who like it so take it for what it is the other product I have is the cranberry antiox hydrating anti-aging toner looks like this guy right here I really really like this toner number one it smells pretty awesome um, it definitely has a, a cranberry smell to it but it's really clean smelling so it's not like you just put some cranberry sauce on your face but it just basically says, formulated for drier and more mature skin types, cleans and restores the skin's proper pH without the drying effects of alcohol. So I am a big fan of anything anti-aging. I have been since I was in my mid-teens, which was quite some time ago. So I just really like the way this makes my skin feel. It doesn't dry it out, you know, like the good old sea breeze or witch hazel or anything like that. So that's why I really like it. I feel like it's more moisturizing and it doesn't really have to dry out your skin. I think that's probably why it says that. So I really, I really do like this. I'm almost out of it and it's something that I would definitely um, repurchase. The other thing that I have is the Citrus Cream Moisturizer DMAE and Hyd hmm, Hyaluronic Acid. That one was rough. Firms, lifts, and moisturizes all skin types. Um, and it just says light, soothing, hydrating cream infused with essential oils and sweet mandarin, orange, tangerine, lemon, and lime. I chose this one because on one of the reviews I was watching said that it smelled amazing and all of these great things. And I put it on and I hated the smell. It is citrusy, but it has like this underlying... You know that smell of like sun, that sunscreen has? It smells a lot like that, and I don't like that at all. And I, it was not nearly as moisturizing as I wanted it to be. I think, honestly, that's kind of the problem with products that are for all skin types because I don't think that someone like me with drier skin really needs to use the same product as someone with oilier skin. So I don't... They have different moisturizers, and I would be willing to try other ones, but this is not one that I will repurchase. Um, I finished this one quite a while ago and it never crossed my mind to order it again. It's just something that I don't think that really moisturized my face enough. I like my moisturizers to feel kind of after effects of still feeling kind of more plump and moist than this one was making me feel. So that's just kind of my two cents on that one. The last one that I'm going to talk to you about is the anti-aging facelift the new 
um, it's KNU. Um, this stuff is pretty expensive. Normally, if you just go to their website right now, it's $150. Um, and I wanted to try it. I wanted to try it. I tried the other products first. And then I got a deal on, I think it was Living Social or it was Groupon. And I got it in my inbox and it was, I don't know, I think $30, $35. And I was like, yes, please sign me up for that. So I ordered it. Um, basically, it just says a light and luxurious daily anti-aging treatment formulated from purified natural bioactive bi snail serum. This is the first time that I've read that. I'm not really sure. Anyways, I've been putting snail serum on my face. Um, I like the packaging. I think it's really cute. The little pot looks like this. It's just a normal kind of um, lotion-y cream. And the smell, it's not awesome. It's not horrible. Like some of the other products I've tried, uh, the Obagi line, a lot of their products, the blender product, I cannot use. It was very expensive. I refuse to put it on my face. It smells horrible. I mean, bad news. This is not like that. Granted, they're completely different products to compare that to. And when I put this on, because it's like a facelift, I thought it was going to be like moisturizing and everything was just going to be like lifted up. Um, honestly, it has the consistency and it kind of smells like Elmer's glue. I don't know that that's like a selling point for them. Um, and when you put it on your face, it's very drying. And it feel, I think that's what kind of helps everything feel really tight, like it's kind of anti-aging. And I've been using it, I got this later than the rest of my Michael Todd products. But I like it. I feel like it's helping the fine lines that I have. I have pretty significant smile lines and I have lines in my forehead. Um, and I have a pretty good um, line right here. So I feel like maybe it's helping them. It hasn't made them go away. It's not like having Botox or a filler, but I do feel like it works. Um, I don't know that I would repurchase this for $150. I would probably try some other products that I have my eyes on. But if you do see it running through a good deal, I would definitely snag it up. I think it's worth it. I like the things that it has in it. I'm kind of past the point of the fact that it has snails or the serum of a snail. How do you get serum out of snails? Like are snails like smushed up or are we like injecting things out of the snails? I mean, that has to be a pretty tedious job of gathering snails, right? No, I'm not sure. Anyways, I have this mind that kind of wanders. We'll bring it back. So I do really like it. It's a pretty, um, I don't want to say it's like a small package, but I mean, it's not big. It's only 1.7 ounces. So it looks big, but I think it's pretty shallow. And it just says you basically smooth over face, including the fragile eye area, neck and decollete, wherever um, improvement is sought. So all of this, basically. I put it on at nighttime after I wash my face. And then I put my moisturizer over this, which is a pretty thick, hefty moisturizer. And I like the way that that feels. I could never just put this on my face and scoot on out the door because again, it feels like you put Elmer's glue on your face. Everything is tight, it's dry. You know, I, I don't know. You can try that, but it's not for me. Um, and then I put it on in the morning after I wash my face, I put it on and I put my moisturizer on and then I put my makeup on. So I'm using it twice a day. I do feel a little bit of a difference I've been using it for probably two months, I would guess. And I would repurchase it for the price I bought it for. I'm not sure about $150. It's pretty steep. And I'm gonna need something to be pretty freaking awesome to pay $150, just to be clear. So that is my review on Michael Todd. I hope that it was helpful for you. If not, I'm really sorry, but I just wanted to kind of share what I thought about the products. I would purchase some of them again but I just don't, I'm not someone, I used to be someone who stuck with one thing and that was it. I thought that that's all 
I wanted. I just wanted one one line, and I wanted it all to be amazing. And I've learned that's just it's not necessary. There are amazing products out there. You can have a great moisturizer from someone, and a great serum from someone else, and a great eyeshadow from one company, and a great mascara from someone else. So it doesn't need to be all uniform. It's taken me a long time to realize that. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!